How to buy a new car from a car dealer. Our top five secret strategies. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. For 15 straight years, we've been helping buyers make better decisions when it comes to buying a new car. We've boiled down the top five must-know secrets to negotiating a new car just for you. Joining me across the way is our master negotiator, the amazing Elizabeth. Well, friends, we'll get right to the top five. But before we start, just in case it sounds intimidating to negotiate a new car deal on your own, keep in mind that we offer direct help. The packages are available on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. We've got your back. You can sign up for direct coaching. And now, besides texting and email support, we offer a direct phone call with none other than our show host, Kevin Hunter. It's a 45-minute action-packed phone call with you, guaranteed to save you thousands on your next car deal. That's right, Liz. The added benefit of the direct phone call with me is that you also earn the benefits of follow-up help with black book values, contract reviews, and much more. Let's roll on our top five secret strategies for how to buy a new car from a dealer. And friends, please keep these steps in the same order that we present them in. It will work much better for you, and they are presented in the order of proper sequence. Number one, research and compare vehicles. Investigate various models and their features to identify what best suits your actual needs. Use online tools like TrueCar and CarGurus to compare prices and find the best deals out there. When looking at different manufacturers, keep in mind that the more inventory the new car dealer has, the more discounts you should expect. Totally. You can also visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, for guidance and advice on many key topics. And always remember, for those of you who decide you want to order a new car, You are doing the dealer a favor, not the other way around. A dealer doesn't incur any floor plan expense on an ordered vehicle and stands to make plenty of money on it, more than any other new car on their lot. Keep that in mind when negotiating and hold their feet to the fire. The bottom line, always negotiate lower on an ordered car. Number two, schedule a test drive and then inspect your vehicle of choice. Always test drive the car to ensure it meets your expectations and don't forget to inspect it afterwards for any defects or issues before getting into finalizing the purchase. Is the seat comfortable? Can you see out all sides of the vehicle? Does it handle the way you like? Believe it or not, people skip the test drive and then return the car within days, getting burned on a lowball trade-in offer in the process. Don't be one of those people. If you ordered a car, always check it out after it arrives on the lot. After the test drive phase is over, go home and move on to the next step. Dealers will likely dislike you for not sitting down and going over the numbers right then in person, but this move puts the leverage back in your hands. Definitely. Number three is negotiate the terms and do it from the comfort of home. Focus on the total price of the vehicle rather than monthly payments. And don't hesitate to negotiate based on your market research. Always get an OTD price in writing and use the free customizable email template we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Just tab through the many resources there and you'll find it. It's available as a free cut and paste outline to help you. And remember, requesting an OTD is only the beginning of negotiating, which is exactly why you do this part from the comfort of home. Remember to also watch our famous video on 11 fake fees and cross out any fees the dealer includes or any added extras that you don't want to pay for and counter offer the dealer with your own revised OTD. Number four, if you need a loan, prearrange your financing. Secure a loan from your own bank or credit union beforehand to know your budget and possibly leverage better terms than what the dealer offers. If you're planning to pay cash, see one of our many cash buyer strategy videos so we can help you take the best advantage of that hard-earned money that you've saved up. It's no secret that if you walk into the dealer finance office trying to see what you can get without having a clue, they'll definitely take advantage of you. Most definitely. Yep. Number five, time your purchase. If you can, time your purchase for the end of the month, end of the quarter, or end of the year when dealerships are closing in on quotas and are more likely to offer discounts to meet sales targets. See our video on critical timing. As far as the day of the month to shoot for as month end approaches, aim for a Monday or Tuesday of the last week of the month. These days are less busy and they'll be hungry to close the only deal they have out on the showroom floor. Lucky you. Yep. We have in-depth videos on each of the top five. If you want more information on each step, check it out. That's right. Thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. Signing off on behalf of the Homework Guy team and the amazing Elizabeth, I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening. You can't go. All the